let's take a look at generics. I'm going to start a new project. A file, new project. Just uh, Java, Java application. Leave it, leave it called that. Okay. Now first, let's um, review. We got system dot out dot print line, and we got hello system dot out dot print line. We'll put a number in there. System dot out dot print line. Let's put a number with a decimal in there. Now let's run these. And you see we got hello, 3, and 4.2. Well, um, this is set up such that it ma doesn't matter what we, uh, I shouldn't say it handles everything, but it's set up to handle different types. See, this is a string and, and number and, uh, and decimal. So the, um, the variable type is, is hidden uh, within the code. Well, let's take a look at... Um, how this can be be done using generics. I'm gonna go up, come up here, and you should see this window here. Um, here's your Java file, the, the code where you currently have open, and right above it here, uh, I see it says Java application 12. That's our package. Now, if I want to right-click on that, and I'll say uh, new, and we want to choose Java class, and under the class name, I'm gonna call it P object. Capital P, capital O, and the rest lowercase. It doesn't matter about the case actually. Um, the book will give you a certain um, certain standard it chooses, but job really doesn't care. Okay, and we come up with this. Now um, here's public class uh, P object, and I'm going to put a less than e greater than here. Um, these are going to allow us to work with um, any any data type. And I'm going to have a public void, and I'll call uh, call it uh, print it. And then I'll do a, a beginning parentheses, and then I'll do e, and then I'll do um, obj. And then beginning curly bracket, and then it puts closing curly bracket. This E represents any uh, data type, string or integer or double, um, so forth. And then this is our, our variable we're passing in. So I'm going to print it. So I'm just going to do sim simply system dot out dot print line. And then I'll print in print obj. Hopefully that isn't a reserved word. So um, even though system dot out dot print line is hand, is set up to handle any any uh, data type anyway, um, here I'm hiding it. So I'm hiding the data type um, and just saying this is generically going to bring in something. It's really vague. <laughs> so then over here, I'm going to say p object, and I'll call it uh, I don't know p equals new p object. And beginning uh, parentheses, closing parentheses, semicolon. So that's going to create a, a, a new instance. And then I'll do p dot. And you see now we have a um, print it right here. So um, if I come down to that, you see it says Java doc not bound. That's because I created it. And then we're going to put in whatever here. So I'll put in hello. Uh, maybe I'll put in three. And I'll put in 4.2. Now I don't know. Let's just, just try putting in a um, single character. See how it does that. I don't know how it'll handle that, to be honest. Um, so again, this is creating the instance of it. And then uh, here we're just passing in a bunch of different different types. So we'll start running this. And hello, 3, 4.2, and A. Um, trying to think how I can um, try even something else. 
trying to remember the syntax for entering in an array. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to do a p dot print it. And I'm going to put in um, curly brackets. Tom, David, Harry. I don't know if that one will work. Obviously, it won't be. Oh, there it goes. Red. Expected semicolon. Um, I'm probably not going to remember the exact syntax. If I take those away. Oh well. Let me get rid of that line. There we go. By the way, this is a way you can um you can put the as a generic type over here. So that uh we we're not specifying what it is. Now you have to be careful on uh on what you're doing with that then <coughs> um, you know is it going to be a um, string like this it's going to be a number well some things may be, may not be appropriate for a string you know if I try to do divide over here in your in your um, declaration well probably a string you know division is not gonna gonna not gonna work very well anyway this is just a simple example to show you um, how to um, use generics over here to define a uh, class.